Hello, I'm Seek77. Today I'm showing you how to set up Minecraft Coder Pack on Windows for Minecraft 1.3.1 with Mod Loader. So the first you need to download is MCP, and you can get that from a link in the description below. And basically, what you want to do is scroll down or click MCP7.x, and at the time of recording it says 7.0a. You just want to download that, or you can download the mirror if that's not working. And then once that's downloaded, it should download the zip file. And um, what you want to do with that is just extract it with WinRAR or 7-zip. Um, and once that's extracted, you've got like loads of a few folders and loads of files. So you, you need to keep that, and you can put this to the side or something. So next, we need to download something called a Java JDK. Now this is the stands for Java Development Kit, and this is what's needed for Java to be developed in our case, Minecraft mods. Because as you know, Minecraft is a Java game. So you need to go to this link um, in the description below. And what you want to do is scroll down to it says Java SE7 U5, which means version 7 update 5. So this is the new version as of up, as of like recording time. Um, there's two downloads, JDK and JRE. JRE is Java runtime environment, and that's what you need to run Java stuff like Minecraft and that. And then JV, JDK is what you need to create Java stuff on your computer. So you just click download on that. Click accept on this first one. So click accept and then download your Windows 80, x86 which is 32 bit or x64 which is 64 bit so download that and it should download this file. I'll be showing you how to install this and set it up with your PC correctly in a later video. The next thing you need to download is mod loader. Now why you need mod loader is because um, I, all these tutorials I do are going to involve mod loader so if you want to follow them you need mod loader for setting up MCP. So you want to go to this forum topic link or just search Risk Army's mods um, and then scroll down to mod loader 1.3.1 and download with Adfly which gives him money or download direct which doesn't give him money but it's quicker. So you just download that and you should get this seven this zip folder sorry. So what you want to do is to move that to the side and extract files. So then they're easier to move when we need to move them in a later video. The very last thing you need is something called Eclipse, and that's required from Eclipse.org and clicking download. And basically, this is a piece of software that renders like a workspace for coding with Minecraft, um, coding Minecraft mods. Because first, you set it up with, you integrate it into MCP, and it loads all the files and stuff so that if it finds an error with your code within the game files, it will tell you and correct it for you, which is really good for like first time coders or people who are really good coders who just want to do it quickly. So what you want to do is to download the classic one because these two have got like more stuff than you actually need. Well, this is as the right amount of stuff you need for modding. So we'll click that. Well, don't click that. Click either Windows 32 or 64, depending on your system. So we'll click that to download it. So I've got 64 it. So I'll click that, and then click that mirror that appears, and it should download this zip folder again. And again, you want to extract files. And I think with this, you can extract here because it has its own within folder. And once it's extracted, uh, there'll be like a application which you can load from, which I'll show you in a later video. 